Welcome to PASIC 2024. I'm here at the Innovative Percussion booth, and I'm excited to introduce even more mallets. When my xylophone mallets came out a few years ago, the question was, does my bag need another pair of mallets? And I certainly decided that, indeed, I did need more mallets. And this year, it's some bell mallets. And I'm particularly excited about the bell mallets. There's five pairs of them. They're at the extremes. We have the lightest ones being these little pea shooters, I'm calling them, peewees, and brass mallets. Now, why would I be enthusiastic about those mallets? Well, small mallets like this have become more and more used and more and more available. But for me, when I pick up my mallets that are this size, I always feel like I, I don't know what to do because the weight distribution between the mallet head and the handle is confusing to me. And I like a, a sturdier handle than something that flexes. And so we've come up with these little mallets which also give more fundamental. And one thing I have to say, whether it be these bell mallets or the xylophone mallets, they really are designed to feel good in the hand, quick in the hand, and in this case, to give me a little more fundamental and less tick with that size mallet. Now, why am I excited about the other end of it, the brass mallets? Well, over the years, last year I did a class and it was about what's changed. And one of the things that's changed big time has been that many players, mostly students, use aluminum mallets. There's nothing wrong with aluminum, but every once in a while I want to use something that is brass. And all that, if I walk into a room, they say, well, here's some metal mallets, they're aluminum. Brass is different than that. And I just need a set of four of those to do many things that I want to do with something metal. But brass, along with those aluminum mallets you might already have in your bag. Then in between those mallets, in between these little peewees and in between the brass, we have three other pairs. We have a pair of the larger, it's probably about an inch and an eighth for more sort of bottom. It's top heavy. I only need to use the weight of the mallet to get the sound. And then we also then have a mallet that is a one inch ball, which is gonna be sort of more your standard mallet that you're gonna use for various things. And there is a weight insert in the bottom of this so that they are weighted. Because most of the mallets we use, whether it be a bass drum beater or a xylophone mallet or a bell mallet, is top heavy. And then we go to a sort of an acrylic with a top heavy weight that is a little bit more covered. Doesn't have the brilliance, doesn't have the kind of articulation that the other mallets have, but we often need something that has that kind of color, that kind of attack. If you're at Pay 2024, you should come and check out these bell mallets. I think they'll be something that you could always add to your bell mallet collection. In all of my mallets, whether they be bass drum beaters, tri uh, bass drum beaters, snare drum sticks, xylophone, or glockenspiel mallets, or chime hammers, you can find them all at Steve Weiss Music. Thank you. Good man. Thank you so much for that.